Today, we're in the herd with baseball. The reigning Patriot League champions are off to a 1-7 start in league play after getting swept by Navy and losing a series to Lehigh. But there is no panic in the eyes of the Bison, according to head coach Scott Heather and a couple of the student athletes. I think it's back to basics. Uh, you know, we just need to play better baseball when it when it matters. You know, we're we're putting ourselves in a position to win and just haven't been able to finish it off. So, you know, hopefully being at home uh, that can help us out a little bit. Well, I mean, right now I think it's just about having fun and you know not trying to be too serious, not trying to do too much. Just take one pitch at a time and you know rem remember that. We're playing the game that we love, and just have to have fun, and good things will happen. Well, if you look at a lot of the games, they've been pretty close, a few extra inning losses too, so I think we've been playing pretty well. It just takes a few things to go our way in order for us to win more games. I think we could easily, at this point, be like 5-3 and three or 4-4, four and, four and I, I think we're just a step away from a few things going our way in order for us to do a lot better. 23 of Bucknell's first 30 games have either been at a neutral site or on the road. So this weekend's home series against Army should rejuvenate the club. You know, we certainly played uh, well here last year and, and have, have played okay here this year as well. Uh, it, it's good to be home. I think we're, we're built to play better here. Um, looking forward to it. We should be more comfortable, and, and uh, having that last at-bat will, will help us as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think that's something that you know hasn't really been talked about amongst us before. Um, but we play our best ball at home. Um, I don't know what our record was last year, but I know it was impressive on our own turf. So um, we like we like to be here, and I think we're going to do a great job here. I, th I think that's definitely true, especially in the Patriot League. Um, last year we had a really good home record, so I wouldn't be surprised if we come back home, um, turn it around a little bit, and you know win a few series, and before we head into Holy Cross for our last Patriot League weekend. Slick fielding shortstop Greg Wasikowski is having a sensational senior season as his on-base percentage is 126 points higher than his batting average. You know, he does a great job uh, having quality at-bats there. We, we, we keep him in that uh, nine hole to, to, to do that. Um, he's, a, he's a smart hitter. When we need him to see some pitches, he does. He can handle the bat, hit and run, bunt, do what you need to do, and, and he's gotten a lot of big RBIs out of that spot for us this year. You know, confidence is definitely a part of it and, you know, working with Coach Wood every day and, and you know, trying to do the, the best things and um, just putting in hard work and, and good things will happen. Ace Bryson Ho is tied for third on Bucknell's all-time wins list. This year he boasts a remarkable 4-1 to one strikeout to walk ratio while also having a respectable 3.10 ERA. Bryson's a guy that pitches to both sides of the plate. He can, you know, he can get all three of his pitches over. Um, he's a good competitor. He's 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 willing to to pitch inside, uh, but he also has you know good stuff to uh, to the other side of the plate as well. So he just does a great job challenging hitters and and making them uh, you know put the ball in play and, and letting his defense work for him. Well, with the wins thing, it, obviously a lot of it depends on your offense. So it's I've been fortunate to have uh, run support when I pitch, and then also just I think just. Focusing on locating your fastballs has been huge for me. And so if you focus, and that's something our staff is now working on a lot more. If you just focus on spotting your fastball, uh, that's been that's been pretty huge. And so that's something Coach Knights has been preaching to us and something I have personally and our staff has been focusing on a lot. The Bison battle the Black Knights for back-to-back -back doubleheaders on Saturday and Sunday. The action each day starts at noon from Depew Field, and all four games can be heard on WVBU.